Welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, we're deep diving into Tensor. Yes, my last video was a price analysis of their launch, but in this video, what you can expect is some potential bullish news as to some new listings and of course a little bit of a rundown through their nft marketplace so guys make sure you stick around to the end of the video thank you for joining me once again legends support is always appreciated like subscribe smash notification bell you know what to do let's jump in last video guys i spoke about the tensor tnsr token going live, of course, on the OKX exchange, and of course, the Binance exchange. But since then, ladies and gentlemen, big things have happened. We are going to dive in to check that out and make sure you stick around, guys. Don't go anywhere because towards the end of the video, there is a crucial pattern right now that is playing out that could be breaking up to the upside as price squeezes. We're going to gouge out some price targets for the Tensor token as well. But of course, before we jump into all this complexity, relax because with OKX, they ha are having a BTC halving special where you can claim up to 60,000 USDT worth of prizes. This includes 15, uh, an iPhone 15 Pro, an iPad Air, an Apple Watch, and USD and more. Make sure you check that out because you can sign up to their exchange in my description with only my link guys so let's jump on in and take a look taking a general overview of coin market cap we can see upon launch volume wasn't actually too strong i mean we we, see we had a massive sell-off here most likely a lot of people were holding over over a long amount of time due to airdrops and other campaigns as well with with the protocol but we can see we sold off at around about here a dollar 91 big volume did come though 1.2 billion. I mean, that is massive. The question is, where are we sitting right now at around about $1.70? Well, volume is around about 529 million. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is a lot of volume, but there is even bigger news. And we are going to get to some price action, but there have been further listings. Now, we can see that Coinbase have now listed TNSR. We also have Bybit jumping on as well. This is very, very bullish. I mean, you have the top tier Binance, you have the second top tier one exchange OKX, and now we have Coinbase giving it jurisdictional reach to users within the United States. What surprises me, however, I want to mention this, what really, really surprises me, ladies and gentlemen, is that if we are to reflect on the price, what is going on? I mean, Traditionally, in the last bull market, Coin, Coinbase would list anything and it would go parabolic. Why are we not seeing that right now? So if we jump onto Coin Market Cap, we can see that their holdings and volume over only a 24-hour period is a mere 9 million. I mean, there are other tier 2 exchanges like KuCoin, for instance, and also some other tier 2 exchanges that are in excess of Coinbase's volume. What exactly is going on here? So this is something very, very interesting, just a personal note. But we do know, of course, with Tensor, if you did want to claim jumping onto their website, you can claim your ticker TNSR. This is something to be looking out for because this opens and is open until October the 5th, 2024. But of course, let's jump on to the white paper to have a little bit of an idea now since it's been published on their website. It is a protocol that is critical trading infrastructure for NFTs built on Solana. So we know that memes built on Solana have been absolutely exploding and there's been so much congestion around the Solana network due to that as well. And of course, a massive appreciation in the price of Solana due to the use case in which its blockchain is getting absolutely hammered right now. But it is one of the only change with, with the throughput speed and low fees necessary for mass adoption. Now, when we're talking about mass adoption, we are talking about the future of trading NFTs, which we are going to explore right now. Their official site, their official marketplace is Tensor.com trade. You can check that out and make sure you're always doing your DDs. Coinbase has an article on this as well. What you can see is a complete, complete NFT trading database and marketplace based on the Solana blockchain. And so the question is, well, why is this important? And we can see it right here that to date, the Tensor protocols have traded over $2 billion, $2 billion worth of Solana NFTs in the past 90 days. 
days, they have facilitated over 70% of Solana's NFT trading volume. Now, I did question in my last video whether or not we are gonna see a massive return of NFTs, and I think due to the scalability and transaction speeds on the Solana chain, we will see this return. We will see a massive push for NFTs based on the Solana chain. Thank you to things like Tensor, that is for sure. But if we are to take a look at some of the statistics, we can see that actually it is the number one marketplace in Solana, which we can see here with the total volume of Sol being 3,902,000, opposed to something like Magic Eden, Hyperspace, etc. not even close. This is unbelievable. So you can check this data on their white paper as well. There is a clear demand for this protocol, being its native token now listed on tier one exchanges, very interesting. Let's take a look at some price action, guys, because I know you were waiting for this, jumping onto the charts on the OKX exchange. We can see, yes, a very volatile launch. I did say with the T1 exchange listings, there will be volatile times. All listings do give rise to volatile times. What we are seeing now on the 15 minute time frame, and I understand that this is very short, it has only been listed, but we are seeing this bearish trend line, guys. What does this mean? Well, you can see right here, right here, right here, and also right here, it is rejecting the price to the downside. This is a bearish trend line, guys. This is gonna act as resistance for the price of Tensor. What is happening as well is we have this level of support in green. Every time we are touching down in this zone, the price is finding support and bouncing. And um, yeah, we can see that. What this means is potentially the price is being driven down into the ground of green, which there is potential demand for people to buy the price to the upside because this is how it's measured with supply and demand. What this technically means is it's squeezing, guys. The price is squeezing and we could see a break to the up or down side. Now, in my personal opinion, and definitely not yours, guys, we are going to take a look at potentially where we could be looking out for a nice breakout. Two, two blue lines will signify that. Now, if we are to fall and break to the downside with this here, we could be eyeing out at around about $1.57. That is a decrease in the price of around about $6, 6.54% if we are to fall down to the downside and this bearish trend line keeps it down. However, I do think we are most likely gonna flip this bearish trend line and maybe chart sideways for a little bit before we come up and retest this next level of crucial resistance at $1.84. This would be my ideal take profit target right here. And if we were to flip that, have a little bit of a throwback onto the trend line, we could be looking at an excess of 8%. This is quite doable in my opinion. And based on that, without using any indicators, I can I can honestly believe that we are going to see the price break to the upside here, throw back a little bit and go and retest this level of resistance right here. That is my personal opinion, definitely not yours. However, we are yet to see many of the exchanges list this for perpetuals and of course margin. Should we do that, we could be trading both directions of the market and of course, staying in the green, making profit. I will see you guys in the next video.